the weekend, the administration uh, hinted that they may get rid of the toddler mandate at Head Start facilities. But as of right now, this rule, which is still in effect, requires children as young as two years old to wear masks, even when they are out on the playground. Um, it's very clear the impact this has on uh, a student's educational development, and uh, the data is, is uh, pretty self-evident on that, and yet the administration has adhered to, and I have fought them uh, for months to try and get this policy changed, and we are now in the third year of, of this policy that requires kids, again, two years old, two years old, to wear masks even when they're out on the playgrounds. So I'm hoping that this is an indication uh, of the administration's views on not only this, but other subjects with respect to the pandemic. Uh, the, the president, I think as everybody knows, over the weekend said the pandemic is over. Well, um, it would have been nice if he had come to that conclusion before he used the pandemic as the legal basis to do a loan bailout uh, for student loans across this country. It could have saved taxpayers in this country somewhere between 600 billion and a trillion dollars is what the Penn Wharton um, budget model suggests the student loan bailout program will cost taxpayers in this country. It is simply a shift from the 13% uh, of people in this country who have student loans to the 87% of the people in this country, taxpayers who don't have student loans, who are going to end up paying the bill for this. It is yet another slap in the face uh, from this administration to hardworking taxpayers ac across this country. And um, it is unfortunate because the administration, had they been willing to acknowledge that the uh, pandemic was over sooner, might have avoided passing a bill, an another bill, on to the American taxpayers to the tune of upwards of a trillion dollars.